Hi everybody, thank you for joining me for this RealPython video series where you'll be making a location-based web application with Django and GeoDjango. The app you'll build will be very simple. You'll have a data collection of shops in the city of Baltimore. This data will be queried to provide a subset of shops closest to a user's location. Let's go over the list of tools you'll be using in this tutorial. Python version 3 will be the programming language you'll use to create the application. You'll code in a Python virtual environment and use pip to install required packages. You need to store data for this project. This tutorial will show you how to install PostgreSQL for that purpose. Postgres is a relational database and you'll add the PostGIS extension to incorporate spatial data features. For your backend web server, you will install the Django web framework and enable GeoDjango for spatial data support. GeoDjango is included with the Django installation. GeoDjango will require some drivers for spatially modeling our data. These drivers can be tricky to install individually, so in the interest of time and simplicity, this tutorial includes an installation of QGIS, which is a great open source GIS application that, as an added benefit, installs these drivers gracefully. Finally, as a bonus, you'll use Leaflet to produce a map with markers to show your user in a graphical way the shops that are nearby. So why this stack? For standard web applications, Django and PostgreSQL are great options. Django is one of the two most popular web frameworks for Python at the moment, and PostgreSQL is an established leader in open source relational database systems. The remaining components in this stack provide us with ways to represent and query spatial data, so let's talk about spatial data for a moment. You're building an app that lists shops near a user's location sorted by distance. You've probably seen similar applications. It seems simple enough, right? Access the data, query it, and provide the user's results. After all, if you wanted to see all shops in a city or in a zip code, that's a fairly straightforward query. The nuance here, however, is that this app sorts by distance, and that's not something easily done with a regular query on a regular database. When we try to query based on location, especially relative locations such as places within three miles of me or inside a boundary, we introduce some complexity. Is that distance a radius? Does it take roads access and elevation into account? Sure, we could figure out some math related to latitude and longitude coordinates, but in general, if your app depends on geographic location, it's better to have GIS capabilities in your database. GIS stands for Geographic Information System. A GIS integrates data formats and functions for the purpose of collecting, managing, and analyzing spatial data. Please join me in the next video where we'll set up the necessary components to make our location-based web application. See you there.